afternoon. So as far as my presentation is concerned, I am not going into the very much detail, but what we will try to do, just have an overview, uh, what exactly we people do, what exactly we people have done, what exactly we people are doing and what exactly we expect from you to participate in. A uh, basic focus of we people is not that ki you will come in for 6 weeks or 8 weeks and do a miracle over there. But if you can adjust yourself with the technology, you can very well learn what exactly we are doing and can contribute to a certain extent. So don't get pressurized with the type of problems or the projects or the assignment we are showing over here that you have to complete everything within this time of uh, defined stipulated 8 or 6 weeks of time. So we will go step by step, we try to uh, introduce with the basic things what we are doing. So basically uh, there are uh, various types of groups those have been listed on the website you may have seen, you may have given the choices also. Out of which one group, uh, one, one type of group is being defined as a CDIP group. So what exactly CDIP is? So CDIP is the uh, Center for Distance Engineering Education Program. Now what exactly is Center for Distance Engineering Education Program is basically this department of IIT Bombay deals with producing technologies for the education. So more or less we called as some technical resources or solution which is focused to the people sitting outside IIT to get the knowledge from the IITs or same solution can be replaced at any other college to distribute the knowledge or disseminate the knowledge. Now basically these are the various type of portals that we are running at present. Every portal focuses to different target audience. So we have started the range with the undergraduate student till the PhD student also. For everybody we distribute, we develop, we deliver something which is being useful for the student. We go step by step. This is a talk to a teacher portal wherein there are three different stakeholders available. The first one is researcher scope. I am uh, starting from the top and will come down. Now researcher scope is a portal which basically deals with the research work. So this is being focused for the PhD student. So on this portal you will find the content related with the research and the various uh, students in IIT Bombay who has completed their PhD thesis, they deliver what exactly they were doing, how exactly they were doing, it is a kind of video portal available, you can visit later on. The other is the courses on view. Now courses on view is the uh, portal wherein it is a repository of the videos. Now I will not go into detail what exactly the portal is meant for, but I will talk on the technology how exactly the being portal working. It is nothing but equivalent to a YouTube kind of portal which is being indigenously developed in IIT Bombay. The entire technology is being developed into the IIT Bombay which is just a three page portal but can have a capability to host. Right now today there are 1500 hours of video content available. It not only delivers the video but also it gives the slides related with the video, then the syllabus, then the assignments, then answers, then the prerequisite and so on and so forth. So it is an entire course curriculum of different uh, faculties which has been uh, teaching in the IIT Bombay. Basically the technology is quite stable, this particular portal is running from last three years and uh, it is most stable portal, not a single day I have found it hanged. Next is the ask a question. Ask a question is a very interesting and the live interactive kind of portal that we are running. Uh, in this uh, ask a question program, what we do every week, every Thursday right now for electrical engineering, electrical, electronics, instrumentation, electronics and telecommunication, IT, all such kind of branches, people can ask their question from any part of the country and the faculty in IIT Bombay answer to their question. It is a live interactive portal whereas all the interactions are recorded and also archived and available on the portal. There are so many other things related with this, it will come later in my presentation, then we will discuss more. Now there are few apps, we also work into the Android. So Android being a very hot cake these days, so we have developed so many apps, a few apps, yeah. These are the few apps which are available on the Google Play Store. You can check the downloads, maybe uh, average 5000 plus downloads are available with every app. The more or less uh, the app for the Wikipedia, web for, app for the spoken tutorial or whatever existing um, portals we have available. Now if you can see there is an app available for the uh, courses on view, the central app TTT where it uh, depicts. 
Now you can have the just a 70 kbps app which is capable of delivering you around similarly 1500 hours of video content. So this is uh, the thing that the uh, technically we what we have developed the very lightweight app which are compatible for the lightweight handheld gadgets and we can deliver the best possible result. What we are doing, this is very interesting thing that we are doing, that we are developing a video conferencing tool. The video conferencing tool, meaning thereby, uh, everybody knows Skype. What is the limitation and problem with the Skype is that you have to download Skype on your local machine. Unless you didn't have the download available on local machine, you cannot interact. Now we have come up with a solution wherein like Gmail or any other web based application, we just logging into the website, start video conferencing. So you need not have to have any local install, any local configuration, any local thing. What you required is only internet connection and just a video camera. So this kind of tool not only is for used for or developed for video conferencing, but you can see that it has got a built-in facility of chatting. It has got a built-in facility of whiteboard so that you can write and explain another thing. You can have presentation over there and you can have multi-party interaction. Now in Skype also you have got a single party, one on one party available, multi-party again you have to purchase the um, extra um, uh, licenses and then you have to pay and then you can have. So this particular tool which is being completely developed on the open source platform, we are going to release it most probably uh, very soon as soon as we finish the things. One of the assignment what we are developed, uh, we are uh, asking uh, you people to participate in is based on this project also. Now gadget development. This is one of the very interesting thing that we do. Uh, we are addict of developing gadgets, you can say. So as I have told earlier, the ask a question shortly called as AAQ, like FAQ, it is a AAQ. Now the ask a question basically have so many gadgets available. Now gadgets are those particular third party application that we develop that helps people to submit their question or ask their question onto our portal. So what we have on the portal is a forum, you can see at the bottom, there is a forum available. But from this forum, how to post the question, you have to visit the forum, you have to sub type the question and submit it on the forum. But what we have come up with a different type of solution through which you need not have to come to the website or sit on the PC and go to the forum URL and then type it into the question. There are so many ways available, you can SMS and within few seconds your question will be published on the forum. You can send an email. You can have an Android app, you can have a Windows app, you can have the Akash app, you can have even Chrome extension, you can have the uh, APIs available, we have released the API, so many colleges across the India has put our four line API, which is just like a Twitter API. We have taken a reference as a Twitter API, we have developed our own API, just four lines embed into your whatever website, you will get a toolbar or the uh, question bar like a Twitter bar. You just type the question, submit it, it will come to the forum. Even same bar or same uh, API works through CD also. We have released recently CD, in that CD also we have put the same API, you run the CD from your computer, while seeing the things, if you find some question, just key in your question, submit it. If your PC is internet connector, the question will come to our forum. The thing is that these are different ways how exactly we have released different type of gadgets to get maximum questions from the student because the mandate of the ask a question is that every question matter. So we want the student should come forward, they ask maximum question and we should have a huge repository of the questions, every question we should try to address in a proper way. This is the Q zone. Recently, uh, we have uh, exhibited all the different type of gadgets we have developed into the uh, Q zone, wherein all the uh, gadgets through which the question can be asked are lively demonstrated for the people to understand. Akash, IIT Bombay without Akash is an incomplete story. So what we do on Akash? So we have also come up with the different type of solution for the Akash, like uh, courses on view application for Akash, uh, ask a question on Akash. Now ask a question on Akash not only gives you the facility to submit the question, but also you can view the archived question. So till date there are around um, thousands of questions which is being answered, those all questions 
you can see on Akash straight away when it is connected on the net. Then spoken tutorial on Akash, then uh, research scope on Akash, even a Wikipedia app is also being developed for Akash. So these are the few uh, developments which are basically focusing to the Akash as a lightweight handheld gadget. So the different type of technologies on which we work are listed over here. Uh, there are so many other technologies also, few I have listed but do not go into the details because at this summer internship what technologies we are going to focus on I have listed separately. So how to stay ahead? We have got a bigger brand available, big, bigger kitty available or basket available. You can choose whatever you want, uh, whatever is your expertise you can utilize. So the opportunities which are available and how to select the things uh, from the available kitty I am going to list. Now this summer we are going to list out few assignments or projects out of which this three projects we have already declared onto the website. There are three, four more projects which I am going to disclose right now. We will see how exactly the target audience is fitting with the requirement of ours. If there is a best fit available, we may open those projects or we may accommodate people onto that particular area. We will go step by step. I will try to explain what exactly the assignments we are going to focus this summer. And then uh, later I will tell what kind of technologies we are doing, uh, trying to expect that you will work on. The first is concept tutor. Now concept tutor is a type of project in which, which is a basically Android based project, wherein we are expecting people should develop the apps for the Android application or Android mobiles or tablets, wherein it will focus to the school children where the apps are not available. Now what is the meaning of not available? It is a little difficult challenge. First thing we want to develop the app based on some sort of gaming style. So we are using here a gaming engine, uh, Unigen or Unity 3D kind of. We want people should work on the DirectX or OpenGL. People can use the color like OpenCV. So we have already developed few games. We will show them uh, to you. Then we will also train. We know very well you people do not know the how to operate on the gaming engine, how to work on such kind of platform. So we will give a small training also dedicatedly for those particular application how to develop it. Ultimate objective of this is that okay, we should develop a game which is nothing but a teaching tool. So basically the student will get learn through the concept, the concept by playing the game. So it is a complete game a video game which is developed on the uh, gaming engine and then ultimately it is a concept clearing tutor, right. So such kind of uh, one assignment we have uh, put forward uh, to you people. I do not know how many uh, out of you are used to with the games but I, I have seen in the recent past the new students are more interested in working on to the games, creating the games. So I hope that few people we will find out who are basically interested in making the games. Next is the media asset management. Now what exactly media asset management is uh, basically it is also called as a MAM systems. Now MAM systems are those particular system if you see every day we see lot of channels coming to your home through direct to home or cable operator. Now every channel collects every day around 8 to 10 hours of video content. So much video content they are collecting. Every minute there is a breaking news. How they should manage such kind of thing? You may have seen that if there is any breaking news they will bring in the past video also and immediately start showing. For example, Yuvraj Singh has scored good run yesterday, immediately there was a small documentary available saying that how he has hit six sixes and how he has done this and how he has done that, whatever. Is it possible for a manual uh, system to find out the old videos, manage them together and immediately start telecasting of that particular combination of the video within few minutes? Because now it is a race with the time saying exclusively on our channel, right. So this has got lot of commercial importance. So the MAM systems are very popular into the market. Now why we are talking about MAM? It is okay as far as the commercial aspects are concerned. But what happened when you come into the educational system? You may have seen these days there are so many educational videos are available with different portals. 
let's say for example MIT courseware you can say Stanford courseware or you can say NPTEL or talk to a teacher or whatever there are so many uh, videos which are educational videos which are being recorded everywhere but we didn't have a professional repository software available wherein we can put in all these videos and drag them access them based on the rights we have available based on the search we want have and the type of clippings we want so there is a niche need we should come up with such kind of system wherein we should have the access of the content or the repository whereon you can search and you can get at the fingertips what exactly you want youtube gives google have come up with some um, uh, search engine at the youtube but they have got their own generalized format we want exactly there should be a system in which not only videos but the other things like documents images slides all the things can be put together and they will be made available as per requirement of the educational content so it is a bigger dream it is a bigger project now we have released few assignment this summer for you people that you can also participate on them next is the interoperability of the video conferencing with the web conferencing now how many out of you have gone through the video conferencing how many uh, people have seen the video conferencing how, how many out of you has participated into the video conferencing video conferencing i am talking few people may have gone to the reliance web world kind of outlets available in your cities maybe it is a tier 2 and tier 3 cities also reliance has open a hall wherein they have got lcd projector and video conferencing unit so there are only 20% or 10% of the people sitting over here have seen the video conferencing or gone through the video conferencing but on other hand if i ask you the question how many out of you have done the web conferencing i think that 90% of the people have done web conferencing because your facebook gives the web conferencing your skype gives the web conferencing your handout gives the uh, web conferencing there are n number of uh, web based applications available wherein you can just share your camera and your web conferencing start now web conferencing is very cheap readily available and can be done from your laptop or the smartphones also can we come up with a solution wherein the video conferencing and web conferencing can be linked together so that even if there is a corporate meeting available at some point you want to listen to it or participate it you can just open your smartphone and you can connect it today at this point of time it is not possible because of limitations on the protocol level they operate differently what we aim is that we want to create a bridge between these two things so that the video conferencing systems and the web conferencing system can start talking with each other there are certain solutions available in the market but which are proprietary one as i have told you earlier that we are into developing a web based conferencing tool we wanted to extend that tool to the video conferencing also so this particular module we are aiming to have a extended part of that particular project so these are the three projects that we have already declared on to our website so now the other projects which we have declared uh, this summer includes forum development so forum development there are so many forums available we have a good forum available with the ask a question see all our development are focused with the type of work we are doing we have already a ecosystem available we have got a problem available we have got a solution available we have got a niche need where we have to fit in that particular problem so being ask a question is entirely based on the forum based system we want a good forum which can handle the entire requirement of such kind of application ours is a unique forum wherein the question is into the textual form whereas all the answers are in video form only so our all if you visit to ask a question website you will see that on the forum all answers are into the video format so this is a unique forum which gives all answer into the video the person will come he will explain he will write he will do whatever but it will be the video now 
we have seen over a period of time ask a question is more than 3 years old project we are running it for more than 3 years we have found that there are limitation of existing forums because our need is increasing day by day we want to integrate sms we want to integrate email we want to integrate with chrome browser we want to integrate with the um, uh, windows app we want to integrate with android we want to go with the blackberry we want to do everything with the forum we are stretching the forum to the ultimate so what happened we have found that in the existing forum what we were using we have modified it around 60 percent we were using third forum which is open source forum we have modified it 60 percent to accommodate our requirement later we started thinking that there is a limit of existing forum and it cannot be stretched beyond why should not we will put more effort develop more 40 percent thing and let's have our own indigenous independent forum with the such kind of modern era facilities built in available so that is why we are planning to find out whether we can develop such kind of forum whose actually 60 percent design and development is ready with us but yes the core part we want to replace now all accessories are ready the core what we are using with the FUD forum that now we want to replace so that it will be 100 percent ours so that is why the forum kind of project we are going to declare uh, trying to find out if somebody is interested in and then we will use uh, such uh, this forum for the ask a question next is a mozilla app now i don't know how many out of you knows uh, mozilla has come up with the operating system mozilla os now everybody if i ask you what is the most popular and best operating system available on the handheld gadget the answer is android right android is open source correct android is open source closely developed do you know who develop android google whether it is being developed by aam admi it is not everybody's os it is being developed by a giant google released into the free and open source to use for you it is not possible to manipulate manage the os very easily and there is no active community available which keep on developing android os so the mozilla people come forward thinking okay, why we should not develop a separate os and they come up with the mozilla os now mozilla os takes almost 50 percent of processor power and 50 percent of ram so it is for the cheaper gadgets the less resource hungry uh, operating system they have come up with and this operating system is going to become one of the option to the uh, uh, android in coming days we at iit bombay have already started working on mozilla os and uh, being akash is a very lightweight gadget it has got less resources available so akash can be a very good targeted gadget for which the mozilla can do miracles that this is what we think so what we are expecting this summer also few of you if are interested we can teach how exactly the mozilla works how exactly it happens and other thing and can contribute on to the mozilla it is an early entry into this area but i hope uh, as time will uh, go ahead it will become slowly more and more popular next uh, is the ivr for aaq now ask a question again the target thing is that basically gives i have told you people a video answers so we start thinking if we are giving so much facility to the people they can um, have the sms also from their uh, mobile gadget and um, submit the question why they have to type in onto the uh, handheld gadget they can just call and talk so if the answer is into the video form the question can be in the audio form so we decided that why should not we can have the interactive voice response system available wherein you can just call and just spell out your question and that will be get submitted onto the forum so this is one of the uh, project that we are expecting uh, wherein uh, we found we try to uh, get the uh, audio interface of the telephone to be coupled with the forum and then the network emulation and bandwidth monitoring tool now what we are expecting in this is that as i have told that the video conferencing is a very bandwidth hungry system 
Now, if it is a bandwidth hungry system, we have to always test and try out how much bandwidth it is using, how to optimize it, how to learn the thing. For which we are using right now a TCS tool. A TCS has come up with their own em uh, emulator and we are using that. But we didn't find it compatible again. It has got some limited features available. So we thought that why should not we come up with our own tool that will be focused to our set of requirement and then we will release it to the people so that everybody can use it. So such kind of tool we didn't find it is readily available. So this is focusing to the people who are more interested into the network domain. So if somebody has got interest in working into the network domain, this can be a very good. Thing. So search, analyze and select your best option. The scripting language which are available. We have PHP, Python, Advanced Java, JavaFlex, Android, OpenGL, OpenCV. Databases. We use both on SQL and non-SQL also. So in SQL, we have got MySQL, SQLite. Whereas non-SQL we use Redis. So where you need not have to put as a structured query language, you did not have to use the structured query language for querying the database. It is a different way of working on this. The different type of servers, those we are focusing this uh, summer is uh, one is the Asterisk server, which is nothing but the uh, telephone exchange. Another is a Red5 server, which is a video streaming server. And then the Node.js, maybe most of you are knowing different type of engines those we are trying to target this summer for you people is that unity 3d this is the gaming engine spinix this is the speech recognition engine whereas van em this is the network emulator wide area network emulator we basically prefer working on to the frameworks so it is always a good style of working into the frameworks so these are a few frameworks which have been focusing this is spring Hibernate and YII deliverables. So what we are expecting from you, how to deliver. So how you will work with us? The thing is that we will set uh, expectation and define interest upfront. Upfront we will define ki what exactly we are expecting from you. Then we will create discrete modules for the entrance can comply. So we will give a small modules. Do not get uh, pressurized or confused with the amount of uh, work or the project size and other thing. We will make a small module for you that what you exactly you have to do. Then establish a program parameters and goal how exactly it should be executed. Then we will assign a mentor or buddy to you who will keep on guiding you continuously so that whatever problems or whatever uh, difficulties you will understand he will solve it or even if it requires, he will teach you also. Conduct the performance and review feedback at the end. We will not stop at this point, but what we will do, we will provide a mechanism for staying connected after the internship also. If you want to convert or continue the same thing after you left IIT Bombay campus, we will also give you the mechanism and the point of contact so that you can keep on working on the same area. So the working style is like this. There will be a project management system where we will assign to you the job. There will be given a defined time. Based on the timeline, you have to submit the thing and the performance will be monitored. Again, the next assignment will be given and the same cycle will be repeated. This is the photographs of the last summer internship. What happened with us? So working with us is not a working, it is a fun. Just enjoy uh, the stay at IIT Bombay and enjoy the work. It is nothing but just a fun. What you have to do? You have to follow the rules of the institute, then follow the uh, discipline, you have to respect to all others and the ultimate thing is that you have to work into the team. So the ultimate result will come through only teamwork. So we believe into the teamwork. So thanks. Uh, before I should close down, uh, I will run a small movie for you people so that you will understand how exactly the uh, things happened. While viewing the live classroom recorded courses, the portal provides free access to some of the selected graduate and postgraduate courses taught at IIT Bombay. The question posted through all these modes are received on the forum. The celebration was marked with the release of DVD containing question and answer sheet a collection of 1,000 video recorded questions and answers. To propagate Ask a Question, 
Questionathon, an online marathon of asking conceptual questions, was organized. The questions were invited in electrical, electronics, electronics and telecommunication, instrumentation, industrial electronics, power system, information technology, microelectronic in the field of science and engineering at the graduate and postgraduate levels. Questionathon received an overwhelming response. More than 3,000 questions were received. With the generous support from the Talk to a Teacher, an initiative of National Mission on Education through ICT and IIT Bombay. Recently, Ask a Question has completed 100 live question and answer sessions, archived more than 1,200 conceptual question answer in the forum, over 400 questions answered during the live interactive session. More than 30 faculty members from IIT Bombay are actively involved, benefited over 36,000 individuals. Over 1,400 individuals are registered on the forum. More than 75 educational institutes or organizations are actively participating as remote centers. I think two important things happen as a consequence of this session. One is we get to understand better the thinking process of students all over the country. Secondly, I think it gives a lot of confidence to an average student in the country. By average, I don't mean average in ability, but any student in any place in that sense. A student feels much more comfortable in being able to interact with a wider section of faculty in the country. And I think this initiative is a very important beginning in that direction. Ask a Question has recently distributed its API, which can be embedded on any website. It allows the learner to post a question to IIT Bombay faculty members. The questions posed through this API get displayed on the Ask a Question IIT Bombay forum automatically. Ask a Questions have been in the electrical engineering department and the success of this has led to now opening up and starting uh, these programs uh, in uh, other areas uh, uh, you know, where IIT Bombay has strength. Here's a great opportunity for students from all over the country to get access to quality teachers and ask questions literally on whatever they want to ask on. Ask a Question has reached an important milestone today. But this is only the beginning. With the support and continuous feedback from its users, Ask a Question will update and enrich its content, develop new features and continue to extend its reach across the nation. For us, Every question matters. Gyanam Paramam Tayam. So thank you.